Sup YouTube, my name is Kaminari Denki and welcome to my first YouTube video. So, a lot of people have asked me, Denki, how the heck did you get such an awesome girlfriend? And honestly, I'll admit it, she's way out of my league. But, aside from my natural charm, I know a secret. I know the art of taking care of an emo. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys 5 ways to take care of your emo girlfriend. Let's wrap it. Tip number one, keep her hydrated, which should be a very obvious one. You need to do that with a human being. However, when it comes to an emo, do not give them water. Emos don't really know what water is, so if you give it to them, they are most likely just going to reject it. What you really want to give her to drink are energy drinks. With emphasis on the plural, I did not think through how to hold these. I totally put those down carefully and didn't drop them. Energy drinks are perfect because they are going to give your emo all the energy they need to get through the annoying day and also they are going to collect the cans and either put them up on display or make some kind of art project out of it. I don't know why they do this but it keeps them happy so yeah give them energy drinks. Tip number two keep them well fed because energy drinks are not a meal. Be sure to tell them that as well. So if you're able to cook without totally frying all of the appliances in the kitchen, you should totally do that. But if not, you can always get them snacks. For Kyoka, I get her dark chocolate. Hang on. These are empty. We're just gonna take this as proof that she really likes her dark chocolate. And before you come at me saying, Denki, that's really unhealthy. You shouldn't be feeding your girlfriend that. Look at these carefully. Honey and almond, healthy. Mint. Mint is healthy, right? It, it gives good breath, not that she has bad breath. I'm just gonna stop talking. Raspberry, a fruit. I can't throw this one because uh, this one actually has chocolate in it. Caramel and a touch of sea salt. Okay, you got me there, but not everything can be healthy in life, okay? Also, I read somewhere that dark chocolate is technically the healthiest chocolate, so... It's not too bad. I also read that dark chocolate has the same effect on the brain as being in love, so... You know, that little association of me giving her dark chocolate isn't a bad thing either. Or is that manipulative? I don't know. Also, never make any comments about her weird eating habits. Just accept them. Moving on to tip number three. Support her creative outlet. Emos tend to have a lot of pent-up emotions and they need a way to let that out. Most of them do this very creatively. Some do it in violent ways like kickboxing or paintball or something, but fortunately for me, Kyoka likes music. Whatever her creative hobby might be, it is your job to support it. It doesn't matter if you get it, if you like it, or if you think she sucks at it. You are to be supportive. Tip number four, make sure she gets enough sleep. Which is definitely going to be a struggle because emos tend to be insomniacs, plus you are going to be providing energy drinks and sugar rushes, so this one is kind of a mission. That being said, it's not actually impossible. There are certain things you can do to help the emo sleep. For example, you can offer to take her out for ice cream because going out into the wild and being around people is going to drain the emotional battery enough to make them want to come back and take a nap. Disclaimer, that's not going to work all the time because it's really hard to get an emo out of the house. Another thing you could do is give them sleepy time tea. Which, by the way, is also a very sneaky and clever way to give them water. My personal favorite way to get Kyoka to sleep is to bolt her a blankie nest. Not a fort, a nest. A blankie nest needs five things. Blankies, obviously, an excessive amount of pillows, plushies, snacks, and something that your emo enjoys watching. Unfortunately for me, Kyoka is very into the horror genre and somehow finds them calming and falls asleep, which leaves me wide awake watching the villain massacre people in whatever we're watching, and she is just sound asleep. You know that Chrissy Wake Up song? Yeah, that is basically me when Kyoka falls asleep while watching horror things. And finally, we get to tip number five the most important thing you can do to take care of your emo, and that is- Hey Dinky? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were busy. Oh, this 
just don't don't worry about that. What's up? No, it, it's nothing. I just um it's nothing. Well, even if it is nothing, you want to make some of that tea mama left for us and tell me about it? I can wait till you're done. Oh, don't, don't worry. Don't even worry about this. I'll do it. Hi, I'm back. It's much later. I'm very much tired. So, um, we're just gonna wrap this up very quickly. The most important way you can take care of your emo is that when she wants to talk, you drop everything and you listen. Because odds are, She's not talking to a lot of people about what's going on. So when she wants to talk to you, you be there for her. I'm pretty sure I had a better way of phrasing that earlier that I cannot remember now, but I, I'm sure I got my point across. Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like it, share it if you think someone else will enjoy it. And if you're new and want to see more videos from me or Kyoka or anyone else who may appear on this channel, be sure to hit subscribe and book the bell so you know when they're out. But yeah, I am going to go back to the blankie nest for cuddles and nap time. And I will see you guys in my next video. Just keep rocking. Bye.